Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about bringing in your own custom avatar into Spatial with the Spatial Creator Toolkit. If you have your own custom avatar designs, styles, or outfits, now with the Spatial Creator Toolkit, you can upload them to Spatial for yourself or other people to use. Let's jump in. So the great thing is, in the most recent version of our Getting Started Starter Template, we actually provide a sample Spatial Avatar that you can use in your own projects and even modify how you want. So if we come into Unity after downloading the most recent version of the starter template, if we go into Assets, Examples, Avatar Spatian, and then Spatian, we actually provide a fully set up avatar model for you. It's all set up with his materials and everything, his rig, everything you need to get started, including this custom avatar script that we need to, to get going. I have this version without a script. So just to show you, if you already have your own rigged setup avatar model, you can simply drag it into the scene here, like this space and astronaut. And we're gonna go to add component and search for spatial avatar. And that's all you need to do to get your avatar set up for spatial. Now, if I go to the settings menu for the spatial SDK, I'm gonna choose create new avatar and click create. Then I'm gonna give it a name, let's call it a spatian. And then I wanna take the avatar actually from the scene that has the script attached to it and click and drag it from the scene into my projects folder and choose original prefab because I need that prefab or prefabricated object set up in order to publish it to spatial. So back in my settings here for the SDK, I'm just gonna click and drag that prefab into the prefabs section. You can see it's at spatial no script. It started off with no script, then I added the script to it. Then we have a couple other settings here. The usage context being global. So what that means is this avatar can be used anywhere in any space within spatial. So for these types of avatars, we do have a stricter limit in terms of the vertice count uh, and material size uh, of those avatars since they can be used in any space created by other users. Uh, we wanna make sure that that's optimized and will run no matter how heavy other scenes are uh, in spatial. And then we also have ecosystem. So this is gonna be a concept that we introduce in greater detail later this year. But essentially what this means is this avatar can only exist within your ecosystem. So if you have a set of interconnected worlds um, or a set of spaces that you've created that you only want this avatar character to exist within, uh, then you'd wanna choose ecosystem. In that case, your avatar wouldn't be able to be used in other people's worlds or ecosystems. So ecosystem avatars, since you have greater control over your ecosystem and the spaces and the worlds you have set up, we actually have higher limits set up for ecosystem avatars in terms of their poly count, vertice count, uh, material size, etc. Since we wanna give you the flexibility to determine if you want to put more weight into the avatar design and more detail into the avatar design or use some of those limits towards the environment itself. So that gives you some added flexibility with what you wanna do. In this case, since we don't have the ecosystem uh, concept set up yet in spatial, that's coming later this year, and this is as of March, 2023, when this video is being recorded, I'm gonna choose global. And then we also set up some categories as well. Um, this doesn't actually show anywhere in spatial today, again, as of this recording, uh, but this will come into effect later this year when there's more that you can do with your avatars. So in this case, I'm gonna just choose human. And then for thumbnail, for the spatian astronaut here, we actually provide one for you. So I'm just gonna drop that thumbnail there. And that's gonna show up in spatial in your avatar selection menu or in other locations in the future when there's different ways to distribute your avatars within spatial. So in this case, we have our avatar set up and I'm going to hit test active package. We wanna make sure that again, active package here in this case 
the Spatian is set up here, I'm going to click Test Active Package and click Continue. And this is going to bundle just our avatar, not the scene that it's in, just the avatar up to Spatial for us to test in our sandbox, make sure it looks all right uh, and runs around as expected. All right, now here we are in our sandbox, and you can see I got my Spatian avatar that I just uploaded, and he's running around and works great. Even works with all the dance moves and emotes that we provide to you in Spatial. All right, so we've tested our avatar, and now we're gonna get him published up to Spatial, and you'll get to see how you can use him in your space. First, if you're wondering how you can build your own avatar or rig it in tools like Blender, we're actually not gonna cover that in this video here, there's a lot of incredible videos across YouTube for how to set up and build and rig your own avatar in tools like Blender. So I'm actually gonna to link to those in the comments below so you can check those out and learn how to do that because that is a whole skill in and of itself. So to publish our Spatian Astronaut here, I'm gonna go into Settings and make sure we have Active Package Avatar Spatian set up and we have everything looking like we wanna look and we're gonna hit publish and continue. And this is gonna take that avatar specifically and publish it to Spatial. And then within a few minutes, you should receive an email letting you know that your avatar is ready to go. Okay, so once you get that email letting you know that your avatar has been published and finished processing, let's jump back into Spatial. So you, you'll be able to find your avatar down in the bottom right. I'm gonna hover over our profile picture click edit avatar and then underneath the ready player me selection you'll see your custom avatars in this bottom section below and here you can see my spatian so i'm going to click him and there we go there he is in spatial now i can use him in any space uh, in any experience across spatial and it looks great Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing that's a really cool, neat trick that you can do with spatial avatars and visual scripting. So let's say we want to set up a bunch of avatars here and let anyone who comes to our space select them and then wear that avatar in their experience while they're jumping in and running around the space. So we can do that with visual scripting after we've actually published one of our avatars. So the first thing we wanna do, I'm just gonna create an empty object here and call that Avatar picker spatian. I'm gonna bring our spatian here into the scene. And this guy here is actually just gonna serve the purpose of being kind of a visual representation of what you're gonna be able to pick. Uh, next to that, I'm going to add an interactable so people can select them. So under spatial, I'm gonna choose interactable. And we're just gonna set this as become a spatian. Choose an icon type. I'll choose the charge icon type. And for the radius, we only want that interactable to be visible when you get kind of close to them like that. And then the way we'll position this interactable and what this will be is, is a sign above the spatian's head Say press F or click here to become a spatian. So I'm gonna move this up here because where this icon is, is actually where you're gonna see that label, press F, and we don't want him to intersect with the avatar model itself. So I'm just gonna position him above the spatian's head like that. A little bit higher, perfect. So we're actually not gonna use the interactable itself in the uninteract events there. We're actually gonna create a script attached to that. So attached to the uh, interactable uh, object here, I'm gonna click add component and I'm gonna add a script machine. So this is our first time in this tutorial series jumping into visual scripting, but we'll do a more in-depth video in the future. So the first thing I wanna do is click new and I'm just gonna create a new folder called scripts and we'll call this spatian picker and click save and now I want to click edit graph and that's going to open up our scripting grass editor 
So when you open this up, you're actually given these two nodes. We actually don't need these. In this case, we're gonna delete these for now. And the first thing we're gonna do is right click and select a search for spatial interactable on interact. So this way, when someone interacts with this object, we want to do something. So I'm going to click this arrow, click and drag to create a new node. And we're going to search for spatial set local avatar. So this is going to set that user's local avatar for that experience. So we need to tell it which avatar we want to set. So in this case, we need the SKU number. Now the SKU number, if you've published your avatar already, you would recognize this because you get that in the email when you publish your avatar. It also appears in your uh, settings here under SKU. So this is the spatial avatar that we published. It actually gets assigned this unique identifier here. So we can simply copy this number and then back in our editor here, I'm going to click the dot next to SKU just click and drag here and we want to choose string literal and then paste that number in there. So what basically this is doing is when I interact with uh, the interactable, we're going to set the local avatar to this avatar with this SKU. And it's as simple as that. All right, to test this out, since we're actually going to be testing this whole scene and not the specific avatar, we want to make sure we're packaging and testing our scene. So let's go into settings and let's create a new space in this case. So I'm going to click create and we're just going to call this avatar picker. Okay. And now for the scene, we we're currently working in our environment scene here. So I'm going to click the dot just to quickly find it and choose environment. And then for texture, since we're just doing a test, in this case, I'm gonna choose the environment thumbnail here that we've provided for you. So when I go to test active scene, you can see that it is set to environment, which we're gonna test. So I'm gonna click test and continue, and that's gonna load it up in our sandbox. All right, now we're here in our sandbox, and there's our spatial. So let's walk up to them. The interactable text appears. I click F, and now I'm on Spatial 2. That's all there is to it. Hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.